Hi, my name is Mark Monier, and I'm the manager here at the Hall St. Helena Visitor Center. And I'm here with you today to discuss what all my guests come here to do, and that is wine tasting. How does one wine taste? Uh, it's a pretty simple question with a pretty easy answer. Uh, pour it in a glass and drink it, right? And to many extents, that's actually true. Uh, but wine can offer you much more than just as a beverage to quench your thirst with. So the first thing you want to do after pouring yourself a glass is go ahead and swirl it a little bit and stick your nose in it uh, uh, to sample the aromas that the wine's going to give off. Now, you don't have to identify any particular sense to uh, get an overall sense of pleasure from it. As a matter of fact, if you get some unpleasant aromas, that might alert you to the fact that the wine is bad. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and take a sip. Make sure you uh, coat your mouth with the wine. Swallow it down. Once again, uh, you don't have to identify any particular flavors. Uh, just was it enjoyable? And that's really the final step in wine tasting, asking yourself one question. Uh, did I enjoy this wine? It's a yes or no answer. Uh, if yes, then it's a great wine. If not, uh, then move on to the next one. Um, no points, no critics. Always trust your palate. Um, so whether you like your wine in fine stemware or pour it in a simple tumbler like most of the world's wine drinkers, remember to trust your palate and enjoy the wine. Cheers.